used to do this a couple of years ago and I need to pick it back up because this was fun. So I'm Bo Sawyer. I'm pretty sure you forgot by now. Uh, let's see. I'm a monster hunter. Apparently I'm a warbound hellhound. Weird things happen on the hunt. Um, and used to, I used to hang around with a dude. Uh, he's a sheriff. He's done really good right now, but I kind of upgraded. And uh, what I mean upgraded, I mean... I didn't do too bad at all. So uh, this is Lizzie Six, um, current WWA champion, yada, yada. I'm not putting her over. I'm tired of that. So uh, why don't you tell everybody where we're going today? Going to Evansville for Paranoia. And this is a WWA event, obviously, because WWA is the only place you can exclusively catch Lizzie Six. But tell them what else we're doing. Um, Saturday wrestling yeah but but what else there's like a special thing about the place we're going Evansville? yeah the coliseum it's a great place coliseum is a great place i won't deny that i have a lot of history in there you have a lot of history in there and great matches of your career in there but it's evansville i don't really want to put over evansville but there's one shining jewel about evansville and no i'm not talking about the olive garden that sounds weird it does sound good. Oh never ending breadsticks. We should, we should, we're hungry. This is a bad idea. But anyway, what I'm talking about is my favorite toy store, and it should be your favorite toy store, Evansville Toys and Games, because why not? It's a bunch of figures. Anywhere from Marvel, DC, Star Trek, Transformers, Ninja Turtles, WWE, Funko Pops, you name it, Daniel's got it. And I tell you what, you go in there, he will hook you up like a tow truck. You tell him I sent you, you'll have to pay a little extra. I'm sorry in advance, <laughs> but, you know, we, we kind of, collection's looking a little thin. Kind of need to uh, add to it a little bit. That's what I mean. mean. Oh, yeah, I, I definitely need to add. I mean, I mean, if anybody's going to talk about anything over here, Miss uh, Pop Queen and... Uh, Pokemon, Lego, hey, Yoshi. Leave my Legos alone. No, nah, I didn't say anything bad. I'm just saying. So, uh, yeah, how about we hit the road? How about we get some food? And let's go to Evansville Toys and Games. <laughs> Trunk. He literally takes up the whole trunk. And what I can do with mine, just set it in my seat. Right? So that's beautiful. <laughs> the funny thing is, you wanted me to act like I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm really struggling. <laughs> the hell? Here's a small kid back here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Rockport, Indiana, getting ready to uh, stop at a little gas station. And we just passed a little cemetery, St. Bernard. And the funny thing is, you will not realize this because you just seen him from when they did uh, Breaking Ground, uh, the little story that came up on WWE when they had like Bailey and Baron Corbin and Carmella and all those up in NXT. Uh, the funny thing is, uh, Matt Bloom, you know, uh, what was his name? I don't know, we're in Indiana, that's why he doesn't have a shirt on. Um, what was his fucking name? Albert. Uh, and when he went to uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling there for a little while, he was a uh, giant Bernard, if you didn't know that. And then he brought him back in the WWE as Lord Tenzai, which I think was, yeah, I get the Japanese thing, but they missed a great opportunity for St. Bernard because he could have come in like a monk, you know, and been like a godly guy or something. I don't know. It just well, I passed. We passed the cemetery in in New Japan. He was in. He was Giant Bernard. What does that have to do with the cemetery? It's fucking pro wrestling, brother. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Dead Man Undertaker, your favorite. That's yeah. Sem that's yeah. That would have been a, an okay leap. I would have understood that. It would have. It wasn't like a quantum leap. I mean, I'm just talking the gimmick. And speaking of gimmick, do me a favor. Go buy this shirt. You see that? Plug the merch. Yes. Go buy it. Please Weird food. song. We're going to get food. Okay, bye. Right, food and stuff's been gotten, and I'm hoping this is number two. This is BCB, and, you know, hopefully it stands for bacon cheeseburger, because if not, then I'm going to be a little upset. What do you get? Tornadoes and Bosco sticks. Tornadoes and Bosco sticks. Yeah. And, of course, the patented. If anyone ever wants to give me a present, it's the one with the mermaid on it. And the shark and the gimmicks, but the anytime. only, only energy drink. That's good. So, so says she. I, you know, I go, I go with my book though because you go with the I usually one every time you go to the Not station. usually, like I, I get the uh, what's the one with the uh, the bubblicious gimmick? Ghost. Oh, hang on. Awesome. Yeah, and now that I pointed it out no. to you. Anyway, um, oh, did you hear that? Uh, yeah, so we're leaving Rockport and we're going to Evansville, right? No, it's a sharp Mustang. said we couldn't get anything. What? Uh... Had to. It was so cute. I don't have a Chucky yet. You don't have enough? Mm -hmm. Oh, well. I mean, there's this guy, but I guess he doesn't really count. I have but... a pop. Oh, pop. All right, so. Fair enough. All right, let's, uh, let's go do some wrestling. Let's uh, set the call soon. Oh, 
Coliseum, Bamboo Road, Spikes Ray. Boots are on. Uh, getting ready to get the face painted up here shortly, and uh, it's time to go to work. So, uh, see you in a little bit. All right, so my boy, Alex Beretta, came back tonight. Hell of an ovation. Can't wait to upload that. Had a little fight, no match or anything, but it doesn't matter. And the best part is my face paint stayed on. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wear this the whole rest of the night. Through the drive throughs the gas station, I don't give a damn. And yeah, I'm gonna talk like this too. So uh, catch up with you here in a bit. Alright, so got done with Coliseum. I didn't have a match. We just beat up a couple of guys. Uh, you had a match. One. You still won. Champion. Still WWA champion. Uh, and now our victory celebration post going home I'm gimmick. So we had a long night. It is now 11:58. Which, if y'all didn't know, the WWA we do a bunch of tear down and everything. Uh, actually, the complete entire tear down. And you know, if I would look at the camera, that would really help. I'm looking like over here at the red light button. That's not what I want to look at. I want to look over here. You would think I would know how to do this by now, <laughs> but apparently not. So we're gonna eat some food and then talk He's to y'all. Fall asleep. This is not true. While I drive home. This is not true. I try my best to stay awake. It'll be like this. Away home. You know, this is not a shoot interview. Any of that kind of stuff. The red X on my head says it. I'm not a target. Apparently, I am right now. But, uh, whatever. And that's all I got to say about that. See, told you. See you guys next time.